So I, I love what you're saying in this open letter. At we are an Eastern people. Easter, sorry, I'll put links in below. We are at an Easterpeople.com. It's very modest what you're asking. Bishops, we, your faithful flock, implore you to do everything you can to make the sacraments more available to us during this crisis. What are some examples uh, that you've seen in particular dioceses where bishops have taken a courageous stance? Well, I... Uh... I think courageous might be the wrong word because this might not even be a matter of doing it, something courageous, it, just doing something it, right. It is, not, it is not courageous. I mean, uh, Bishop Strickland is sort of our go-to bishop for, um, for exemplary behavior by a bishop, and I'm sure his other bishops are kind of are resenting him. T tell uh, us about what happened there for those who aren't aware. Well, well, one of the things he has done is he has he took the the monstrance and went and stood at the the busiest intersection of Tyler, Texas, and he stood there for an hour. Uh, so to basically symbol, literally blessing everybody in the city at the same time, symbol, just like the Holy Father, I keep, you know, I got in a little dust up with one of the, um, uh, he's a fine fellow, a priest, uh, and he won't mind his name because he, he publicly, uh, published a critique of my claim that the bishops were kind of mis missing in action right now. And he said, oh, what they're going to so many meetings, they don't have time to do these things. And I said, well, they, you know, last Friday, I and many of my friends participated in, in Catholics all over the world and people all over the world viewed our aged, very aged, 83-year-old Pope with one lung um, who is having trouble moving and having trouble walking long distance and loses his breath, when, gets short of breath when he does. And in the pouring rain on a cold night in Rome, he performed the most beautiful Orbi at Orbi ceremony that you can imagine. I mean, it stayed with me, honestly, for days. And that's a, a place, honestly, in my heart I can go back to very quickly. When I want to have great consolation, I can remember some of those visuals and the prayer that was part of that. I said, are our bishops more busy than the Pope? Um, are, there, are they having more meetings than the Pope is having about this? I don't think so. And, and so if we don't understand how much, again, we, they're fathers, and we need to see their faces telling us what's happening, telling us what they're doing. Again, Strickland has all sorts of things in his diocese where he's a, a very regular presence. And he asked all of his priests to, to, to do this blessing of their parishes. I've, I've seen people post pictures. The priests have been great. Not all the priests, of course, but there's an army of priests out there who are doing everything they can. And that's what I wanted to say to the bishops, do everything you can. They're taking the monstrance up and down the streets of, of their parish. And, you know, people in the window pray. People get down on their knees. I think a bishop could easily hold uh, an adoration ceremony on the steps of his church, bring out the monstrance, bring out a pray do, tell people they can fill the parking lot or they can all slowly drive, drive by and pray with him as he's worshiping uh, the blessed Jesus Christ in the Blessed Sacrament. And I think that, that this kind of thing is is so powerful uh, for us and for the rest of the world, because the rest of the world is saying, what the heck are you Catholics doing here? What is this, this beautiful gold thing with just a little white thing in the middle of it? What is that, and why are you so desperate to be close to it? It's an, a fantastic evangelization moment um, if we use it. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you will absolutely love the full interview. So click right there to enjoy the whole thing. Also, a big thanks to these groups who made that interview possible. Learn more in the show notes below about these guys. They're absolutely incredible and honored to have them as sponsors. Oh, and also, if you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe and then that bell button. That way, YouTube will be forced to let you know when we put out more content.